Turkey, incorporate, you get the point. You got it? Good, you got it. Hi guys, it's Anita and welcome back to my channel. Actually, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. And yeah, today we will be making some turkey light soup. Those who have no idea whatsoever of what light soup is, it's some sort of soup tomato-based soup um, that Ghanaians eat, okay? And you can eat this with just anything you want, or you can drink it just as it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will run through the ingredients with you, but as I said, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, you can do this with chicken if you want. You can do it with goat meat. You can do it with fish, fresh fish. Just whatever you want, okay? I am going with turkey light soup today. And I think this is pretty much timely too because Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So if you're thinking about um, meals to include in your um, Thanksgiving dinner or whatever, um, this could be an option too. You know, turkey, incorporate, you get the point. You got it? Good, you got it. Anyways, well let's go through and rush through uh, the ingredients with you and we will start cooking some light soup. Alright guys, so here I have the ingredients laid out for you. I will be sure to leave the ingredient list down below in the description box and also the instructions um, for you guys. If you want to quickly take a snapshot, go ahead and take it. That way you know what's actually on here. Some people are visual and like to see instead of all of that. So anyways, um, this is the headliner of the game. <laughs> This is our fresh turkey. Um, I just washed it and it's in here. I got mine from an African store. Now, um, I have about 12 pieces in here and it was roughly, let's say $3.50 with tax. So, uh, yeah, check your African store. Some supermarkets carry turkey. So, I know Walmart does have the turkey drumsticks. You might wanna chop those up. Cause these are drumsticks too. That's just been chopped up, so. Um, you might want to get that from Walmart or if you have an Aldi, maybe they might carry it, I don't know. But I got this from an African store. You're also going to need some onions, ginger, and avenue pepper. Now the peppers go according to your heat level. Um, just whatever you want. This is your soup, okay? Make it however you want. Um, you're also going to need some good old tomato paste. Um, just any tomato paste, really. And you're going to need some fresh tomatoes. Um, here I'm going to be going with four of them and what next what next okay so right here I have some seasonings okay I picked these up at American shops so you don't have to as I said before you do not have to go to an African store to get these things you don't right here I have what Ghanaians call Quintian I know Nigerians have it too but they have a different name for it now the general name for this um, is Negro pepper. That's what they call it. They call it Negro peppers. So if you go to any African store or any um, grocery shop, they should have these spices there because I purchased mine from there. And then here we have another kind of spice. Now these are really small. <laughs> Anyways, we call them in kitten kitten, which literally means small, small. Also here I have some North seasoning. Um, I have some salt and then I have Benny instant stock powder okay so you don't have to use these seasonings go with whatever seasoning you have whatever you want okay as long as you have seasoning for the meat maybe some sort of chicken seasoning for your meat um, and then this one this one right here <laughs> this one is a goat seasoning okay it's seasoning for goat but I just like to put some in there, okay? It doesn't have to be chicken all the time. Feel free to blend spices. And I realize whenever I do that, it gives me some sort of, ugh, some sweetness to it. Not literally sweet, sweet, but it gives me a different flavor and I really like it. So, those are the ingredients. We did talk about the tomato paste, so you're good. This is just a mixture of the ingredients, some of the ingredients. So it has the ginger, onion, peppers, it has the um, anise seeds, which is then kitten kitten and it has the wintia which is the negro peppers okay so these are the ingredients let's go ahead and start cooking all right guys so to start off i have my saucepan right here we are going to go ahead and put the turkey in i have them already washed 
Um, so just go ahead, put the turkey in there, and then just leave it on there. Now what we're going to do is cook this turkey on medium high. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, leave this on there for just about two, three minutes to get it going, and then I'll put the spices on it. All right, so this has started warming up a little bit. What we're going to do is put our spices in. So go ahead and put that on there. I like my really, really seasoned well. So I'm using all of this on there. All right, I'm also going to sprinkle some of the anise seeds on there. Even though I haven't blended, I love to put them in here like this too. And then what we're going to do is go with our North seasoning. We'll go with some salt. And then we'll put some of the Benny in there. Okay, now this is the trick. Every meat releases its own juices, okay? It's on water, so there's no need putting water in there. Just cover this up, let it steam, let it cook, okay? So we're going to leave it on here for it to cook for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll continue with the recipe. All right guys, so this has been cooking for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so, ooh, look at, oh my goodness. It smells incredible. I wish you guys can be here to say, oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna taste for flavor and seasoning. Just make sure the salt is good on that. Oh yeah, real good. And this is almost, almost there. So what we're going to do next, is put our fresh tomatoes in there so it can cook down for a little bit. Just roughly about five minutes to get it to soften up and then we'll blend that on up. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get our tomatoes out and blend them up. All right, so we have this blended up. All we're gonna do is pour it right over. Now you can blend it as fine as you want. I like some texture in my soups. And then we'll go in with our tomato paste. I'm going in with about two teaspoons of tomato paste. Pour some water in there. What we're going to do is cover this up and leave it to cook for about 20, 30 minutes. That's to max actually, but about 15, 20 minutes should be good. Uh, you can leave it on medium high, as I said earlier, to let it cook. And yeah, we'll come back once it's almost done to taste it. All right guys, can you hear it? <laughs> mm. That smells incredible. Look at that. Look. So this is pretty much it. Our soup is done. Uh, now some people might want to put some okra in there or okra in there. Just for garnishing and all that. You are free to do so. But this is pretty much it. The soup is done. It's been cooking for a long time. And we are ready to eat. Look at that. Oh my god. Let's get some big ones in there. Give me some skin. <laughs> Look at that. Now tell me that this doesn't look good.